Hi, welcome back. This video is a follow-on from my previous video where I showed you the installation of the solar panels on our motorhome. Oh, what's occurring? In this video, I will show you how to create a network for the two MPPT controllers through the Victron Connect app. This will synchronize both controllers and give you the best possible charging for your lithium battery. As you can see in my garage, I have two Victron MPPTs. One is a 30 amp, one is a 20 amp. The 20 amp is labeled up as array one and the 30 amp is labeled as array two. So now let's get on to creating the network. Let's open our Victron Connect app which will show our two MPP controllers. The top one shows the 20 amp and the bottom shows the 30 amp. Let's open the first controller and configure this. First thing to do will be to change the pin number from the default pin. This is popped up now saying that we're using the default pin, so just click change pin code and the new pin code and repeat and then OK. OK again. So now we have secured to stop anybody linking on to your MPPT controller and changing the values. Next, let's hit the settings icon again. Here, let's hit the three dots, go into product info. Here is the controller and let's rename. This is our 20 amp, which as you saw from the boot is array number one okay so there you have array one let's go back so same again let's go into the 30 amp controller change the pin and also rename it to array two we shall go into the product info Edit the name. OK, and let's go down to change the pin. Current pin, default six zeros, and then change it to a pin of your choice. OK, if we go back now, it will show us array one and array two. So next job, let's go into array one and let's set the type of battery. On my motorhome, we have a 300 amp Fogstar Drift lithium battery. So once you've opened up either of your MPPTs, hit the cog, let's hit a battery. As you can see, the battery is factory default. Let's change that to a preset and we shall scroll down until we see the smart lithium. Select OK. As you can see, the settings there are lithiums, general. You can change these if you go into expert mode uh, to the actual recommendations from your battery manufacturer. I will just leave this as it is for now, just to show you. So there we've got the lithium selected. I'll go back now and onto array two. Same here, I shall select lithium as well. Hit the cog, go to battery, battery select actually preset I should say and we select preset to smart lithium okay now we have programmed both MPPT controllers so we have array 1 array 2 we've changed the pin code to make it secure set the battery to lithium on both controllers so now we need to set up the network so if we click on the first array which is the 200 watt panel and on the 20 amp controller and it will show you that the voltage the current um, and showing you it's charging 5.7 amps into the battery in bulk state we shall set up the network set the network will synchronize both mbpt charge controllers so they will read each other and optimize the charge to your batteries first thing to do is hit the settings cog and ve smart networking Click that and let's create a network. I shall call this network what's occurring because apparently that is one brilliant YouTube channel. What's occurring? Network configuration pops up and it tells you it's been configured or the network has been set up. 
So now let's go back to the second controller, array two. We shall read this data, connect this to the same network as array one. This array two hit, has got the two 200 watt panels on, on the 30 amp controller. So let's hit the settings cog again, go to VE smart networking, and this time we will join existing, which is the network that I've just set up. Click OK. It's been successfully configured and data has been received. So now you see in the network you've got the two arrays which are synchronized together. So let's go back to the start now again. So now if you look on here you can see the data for each uh, array again but if we just select one of them because they are now synchronized and talking back and forth to each other you will see the difference on this screen now that you've got although this solar panel the 200 watt solar panel is putting out 79 watts at present the total network power is 236 and obviously a rate 2 then is supplying the difference in wattage we now have the both MPPT controllers network together so they are talking back and forth with each other and charging the battery. Now we shall go and have a look at the battery itself. Fogstar 300 amp hour I have. So this will just search for the battery. We shall have a little look at what's going on. And there we go. 97% charged and we are charging at present at 15.3 amps. There you have it. The two MPPT controllers are now synchronized and they will talk back and forth to each other to give the optimum charging for my battery. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you do like these DIY videos I'm doing, comment below and check back on the playlist that I've created. I'm sure Rian will have some other jobs for me to do, so stay tuned. And she shouted at me in the past because I haven't said, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So I won't say it this time either. Thanks for watching again. See you on the next one. Ta-ra. Oh, what's occurring?